Hey everybody, I'm Jacob, and welcome to web development video number 21. In this video, we're going to quickly go over button input types in HTML. First, the code challenge. This time, I want you to be a hacker. So I'm going to like fill in this password input field, and then using your developer tools here, I want you to see if you can change the password input field in such a way that it allows you to see the text that you've typed in. Okay, sneaky. That's the code challenge. All right, now, in addition to the submit button, there are two other kinds of buttons we can put in our HTML, plain old push buttons and reset buttons. Push buttons are simple. It's an input with a type of button and a value of whatever you want the button text to be. So like push button save, refresh, take a look at that. And by default, push buttons don't do anything. Any interactivity has to be added with JavaScript, which is something that you can learn about later. Reset buttons are similar in the markup. Reset. So it's a type of reset and a value of the button text still. So they're similar in the markup, but in practice, they act differently. So if I fill in this form a little bit, and then press the reset button, it resets the elements back to their initial value, which for our purposes was empty. Using button inputs is all well and good. However, what if I wanted to put an HTML element inside of my button? That's not possible, actually, because we can't put HTML elements inside of attributes. If I wanted to say mark like that, mark, that would make the text highlighted. But if I save and refresh, it doesn't work. You can't put HTML elements inside of attributes like that. So how can we solve this problem? If we wanted to make the text bold or italic or highlighted, how would we do that? Luckily, HTML provides us with another way of making buttons, the button tag. I can remove this. The button tag is different from the input tag in that it is not a self-closing tag. And that means that it has to have a closing tag like this button. This means that it can have content inside. So I'm going to say like button. And it can have other HTML tags inside too. So I can say mark. That'll highlight this text. Whoops. And close off the mark. Mark. Mark tag. Then if we save and refresh, it works. The text is highlighted. So we can use other HTML tags inside of the button tag. By default, this button tag acts like a submit button. So if I were to fill this in and press this, it submits the form. But we can change this default behavior by changing the type attribute equal to button, and that'll make it a push button, so it will do nothing. Or we can change this to reset, and that will make it act like a reset button, setting the form elements back to their initial value. Cool. And lastly, it can be submit which is the default, so it's kind of redundant. But if you do that, it works the same as the login button. All right, there you go. That's a quick overview of buttons in HTML. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm Jacob, and have a good one.